So you haven't got 18 minutes to watch a total pleb like me tear up his carpets and floors for the first time ever. All right, I get it. So here's the TLDR version of the entire process, but you'd be denying yourself of the narrative and the hero's journey if you don't continue watching. Cheers. Hey, little sheep. Hello, buddy. Hey. Hello. Hello. How cool is that? Right in my backyard. More or less. A sheep. Oh, yeah. If you're wondering why I've got this <laughs> contraption on my head, it's because I'm about to go under the house. Um, essentially, one of my big goals, let me just try and get a good angle here. One of my big goals for this house is to rip all the carpet and line them up as I would have said in an early video. Now, part of that will be made 500 times easier and cheaper is if I've got good enough floorboards underneath. Now I've been told I've got decent tongue and groove hardwood underneath, um, but I need to check for myself how far spread that is because when my builder came in and told me that, he just checked sort of one small section out the front. And recently I pulled up the corner of one of my rooms where the carpet was already sort of coming up uh, to see what was underneath. And uh, it's really strange. It looks like it's this, um, I don't even know. I don't know wood, but plywood maybe or something like that, just a sheet of it and then straight to the ground. So if, it, if that's sort of commonplace around the house and I start pulling up carpet, then I'm gonna be left with, you know, in a worse situation than the start because the carpet and the lino, even though it's ugly, it's functional, it's serviceable but um, functional, functional and serviceable. So anyway, um, without further ado, I suppose I'm gonna duck underneath this house now. I'm pretty scared of spiders, really scared of spiders actually. I'm not scared of snakes, but you know, you don't really wanna bump into a brown snake or you know, something like that in a cramped space. So uh, fingers crossed uh, as a wasp actually crawls right underneath where I'm about to go. Um, without further ado, <laughs> let's uh, poke around under the house and see what's happening floor-wise. Alrighty. Oh. Let's have a look, see here. Oh, look at that. See, as you can see, that all the way to the corner there looks good. Looks like floorboards. Uh, wood looks a bit worse for wear right, right about there. But um, other than that, this back section looks really good. All right, so that's that corner of the house, which is also the first room that I plan on doing. <laughs> so the light key I plan on doing. Uh, let's check underneath the floorboards of my room. And once again, it looks very promising. I assume that that's good wood. <laughs> that's a good sign. Now, I haven't really gone into the house yet, and I know I sort of made it sound like I was going to. It's because I actually am. Um, doing this sort of perimeter check to delay the fact that the corner that I found that was just plywood was right in the middle of the house, actually, in the, in the lounge room corner. And it's smack bang in the middle of that, which means I'm about to get dirty. Let's, uh, let's go check it out. All right, so I'm just at this side of the house. It might be a bit damp here because there was some spilling, water spilling recently here. Oh boy. Oh. That's what I'm looking at down there. Okay. Here goes. This is going to be slow going. Okay, let me just get a wriggle on, literally speaking. I think I can crawl here. Whew. Okay, face your fears and all that, eh? Um, claustrophobia doesn't really bother me. It just seems like a good place for snakes and spiders to hang out. Um, I would do a halfway check, but I can pretty much tell you that it still looks like we've got all timber here, which is such a good sign. Um, let's keep crawling to where 
Oh, this cord is actually a hint. Oh, hold up, right here. Oh boy, oh boy. That's um, that's it, I think. Uh, that corner. That's where the the corner of the landroom is, I think. And um, it's wood. So that means if I actually give the bloody bloomin' carpet a good peel back, I can just, I can't see anything but wood underneath here. Awesome. All right. <laughs> I feel a bit ridiculous putting the light on, but no one is gonna see me. Well, you'll see me, but you won't tell anyone, so we're, ch we're chilling. Um, let's go back into the house and start ripping up some carpet. All righty, so behind me here is my lounge room. As you can see, freshly decorated. Well, as in there's furniture here now. Now in this back corner over here, this is exhibit A of what I've discovered so far. Now, let's peel this here. As you can see, I've kind of already been through and cracked it quite heavy handedly. Oi! I'll show you what sort of got me worried about what was underneath my floor. All right, so call me dainty if you will. Oh, come on. But, uh, don't want to scuff my hands up. I've got dainty office worker hands. Oh boy. This is just not looking better at all. I swear underneath, look to the goods. Little hole there. What is going on here? What is going on here? Let's leave this corner again. I'm perplexed, honestly, perplexed. That's how much of a scrub I am. Underneath, it looks like it's all floorboards, but from the top, it looks flush with a single panel. I'm gonna jump in my other spare room, grab the Stanley knife, cut it into the corner, see if it looks the same. Now, as you can tell, I don't really know what I'm doing, but let's just see what we can do here. Oh gosh, that's cut. All right, here we go, we have got something here. Yeah. Can I do anything? Yep. Come on, buddy. Hang on, let me jump. use my dominant hand here. All right. Okay. Let's pop this up. It's a familiar sight now. Oh my God. There's almost no going back now, is there? I'm committing to this. I've got a big vision for these floors. Okay, so once again, we've got well, it looks to be just a panel. Now maybe just underneath this, that's where I'll find the, the tongue and groove. But, unfortunately, oh my God, what have I done? Uh, hang on. Unfortunately, I think that I might have to get a expert or Google a little bit further what might be going on here. Look at that, you'd never know, would you? Look at that, see? You'd never know. I thought this would be easy. Just cut, cut a hole on the floor, peel a corner back, check what's underneath, but it's like the whole floor has been covered in a very thin layer of wood. Um, I don't know, I'll try and figure it out. So, incredibly, I no sooner had I gone out back to take a Snapchat to send to my brother, my brother-in-law, you know, probably even my sister who might know more than me about this stuff, um, to get their thoughts on what's going on with the uh, floorboards looking like floorboards underneath, but not looking like floorboards from above. Um, and who should I see but Noddy, my uh, you know amazing neighbor. Uh, and I asked him a few questions and he pretty much spelled it out for me. It's a layer of masonite underneath the carpet, separating that from the floorboards. Gosh, it must be a thin layer. And then the floorboards must almost be quite thin as well. Anyway, so plan of attack is today, um, which is Thursday, the 29th of April, I think. Um, I'm gonna get to work, I'm gonna cut the carpet out of that room. I'm gonna get to work on it. Uh, and then when I come back, maybe I'm being greedy. No, I might save it all for when I'm back on Wednesday uh, next week. And that's what I'm gonna sort of jump into, hopefully clearing off everything. Mason and I, I'm gonna cut that whole back room out that I was in before. Um, get it down to the floorboards and then see how we go from there. I'm super excited for it. Uh, and now that I know what's going on, uh, <laughs> yeah, bring it on, I say. Catch you in a week.
All right, so as I've probably mentioned before, this room behind me is the one that I'm gonna do first uh, as far as pulling up the carpet, hopefully all the way back down to the uh, hardwood floors underneath. Uh, it's pretty late in the day, so I think this afternoon all I'm gonna be able to do is start ripping the carpet off, and then tomorrow we'll see what I can do about getting some staples out and pulling some boards off. So let's get into it. All right, so after Gosh, I didn't even time it, but it feels like no time at all. Uh, this is what the room's looking like. Uh, I've got to say, um, this feels great so far. I feel real useless. Uh, useless, no, the opposite. I feel real useful. Um, I'm always thinking about what dad's got to reckon watching this. <laughs> uh, what do you think? <laughs> anyway, um, so from the videos I've watched, um, shout out to the, like the 50 videos I've watched. I still haven't done everything right. Um, probably my sh footwear might get some comments, but um, looks like next thing I'll do is I'll pull up some of this um, underneath stuff, I think as it's known. Um, pull up the stuff on the sides, pull the staples up, and then I should have the mason, masonry, masonite underneath. And there we go. Uh, pulled up the under carpet stuff. Um, there's still it's this bit of the underneath part stuck to the masonite, masonry. I'm gonna go with masonry and if I have the wrong way around, you know what I'm talking about. Um, so it's kind of hard to scoop off, just coming up in little bits. So I figure I might as well just leave it there. Start um, cracking these edge parts off and just keep going. This is, um, I'm having a blast so far. So far, so good. All right. All right, so now I'm thinking I might start taking a shortcut here. Um, as you can see, there's this outer trim going all around the outside that uh, I think typically you'd have to pull out and then pull all the nails out or staples out as well. But with the masonry underneath, I'm thinking maybe if I crack the trim on the outside where the, on the edge of the masonry, I can just leave it on, save a job, cut a corner, and just get to work pulling the masonry up and checking out what's underneath. Um, <laughs> this is my first time sort of straying from the, from the promised path, so I will see how we go. Um, hold the phone actually. I may need to bump all of these skirts off. Um, I'm not too sure about that. I'm going to fiddle around and see if that's what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> all right, so after quickly browsing through a YouTube video, it looks like I will have to remove uh, the skirt. Now, I'm kind of tearing things up anyway, so I might as well do it and then find out I didn't have to. Uh, then, I don't know, it's not really rational or logic when you think about it and you say it out loud, but I'm just gonna take the skirting off and see how we go. <laughs> how cool is that? I've got the, uh, the skirt off and um, look, you may have noticed my methods were a bit caveman brain, but I had the chisel, as it's known in the uh, DIY community. Um, and I had the duct tape, there's a hammer, because I don't think I've got a hammer. Um, need to get one of those on the list. Um, the noise was terrible. It sounded, like, <laughs> it sounded like I was destroying the very foundation of the house. But as you can see, I think I may have made the right choice. And uh, in just a moment's time, we'll test that <sighs> by trying to pop that corner piece of masonry or masonite. <laughs> All right, the moment of truth. This board should just simply lift off from the ground. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, 
Could you look at that? <laughs> it's gone. Now, let's find out what's underneath. All right, so the big reveal. This is what lies below. Um, it looks super scuffed. I honestly have no idea what I'm looking at. I'm um, hoping that I brazenly push forward, pulling all this masonite up. Um, someone doesn't come and tell me that uh, you've made a grave mistake and that this is not supposed to be uh, floorboards. Um, but it's what I sort of expected to see as far as wood. Um, <laughs> Um, there's a big gap actually between the wall and the um, wood, the floor, which I'm presuming gets fixed with a bit of skirting, but um, we've come this far. Let's go ahead and absolutely devastate the ground of this room. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, I have officially torn up my first floor. Yeah! Um, again, I don't really know how long it took. Um, didn't feel like that long, although it is quite kind of dark now. Um, I might figure it out in post, but um, yeah, look around. Uh, some big questions, quite frankly. Have I made the right choice? Um, I don't know what I was expecting from the wood underneath. Um, I wasn't expecting to come up all polished and, you know, beautiful, but uh, <laughs> it looks pretty scuffed. I'm not gonna lie. I'm wondering if maybe it's too scuffed and the people that put carpet on top of it before me knew more about DIY than I do and uh, restoring houses. So big question mark. There's obviously some holes, uh, gaps in the, the walls to the floors that I think the skirting might cover. There's a big few wet patches. I hope there's some case of mold or there's no anything I should worry about there, but I'll maybe get a professional's uh, opinion. Hey, if you're a professional and you've got an opinion, comment below, I'm a total pleb. You don't have to remind me. Um, I'll chat with my dad and my brother and you know, my mum and whoever else, uh, Ginny, my cousin, find out if they've got any tips for me as well, if maybe I need to just straight up get ready to re-carpet it. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm over the moon, uh, quite frankly. It's still obviously tons of staples in the floor. I need to make sure people don't come in here because uh, luckily for my safety footwear, I am um, definitely stepping on staples and nails and all kinds of bits and pieces that you don't wanna be stepping on. Um, aside from that, uh, yeah, I'm gonna leave it there because there's a lot more to do in this room, but the floor is gone and uh, I'm excited and uh, achieved a big goal and looking forward to finding out what comes next. Fingers crossed, the plan goes on as planned. See you later.